From Perlis to Johor, from Bangkok to Surabaya, everybody knows what goes well with peanut sauce. Grilled meat on a skewer, it's the satay. It's golden, spicy, and full of flavor. But for such a simple Indonesian-Malaysian dish, what makes satay unique is how the taste embodies a mix of cultures. Satay comes in a variety of meats such as chicken, beef, mutton, pork, fish, and even exotic meats such as snake and lizard. While satay has traveled well beyond the Southeast Asian region, how this tasty food first reached Malaysia is a colorful story on its own. But you know, making satay is uh, so very tedious, you see. Dr. Sharim is an associate professor, a chef, and a professional foodie. It has an Arabic influence to it, Indian as well. Because Indian, they use a lot of turmeric. It gives the yellowish color to the satay. Arab, they use a lot of cumin. They bring with them their food culture, kebab. And then Indonesian pick it up to make satay. The first family brought satay to Kajang. They start selling satay by having this kanda. They carry it around the village. They shout for satay, satay, satay. It goes on to be the satay stall. To him, different regions have their own spin on satay. In fact, the Javanese satay, they don't have turmeric. And they just put onions and ketchup. As time goes, we make it our own taste. We Malaysianize stuff. There are also certain techniques when it comes to skewering and grilling satay. You don't want the satay to be like on the plastic skewer. It has to be on bamboo or lily. Satay has to use charcoal the traditional way because it brings the flavor. If you deep fried satay, it won't be as delicious as the grilled satay. But satay is never eaten alone. They are usually accompanied by onions, cucumbers, and peanut sauce, or as Malaysians like to call it, kuah kacang. The earthy flavors and the grainness of the sauce makes it a great complement to all kinds of satay. But of all the different types of nuts, why peanuts? We don't have any other nuts in Southeast Asia. The Portuguese, the Spanish, they brought these peanuts from the West. And because peanuts are relatively easy to grow, they become an affordable ingredient for the sauce and an integral part of the satay eating experience. Grandmas, what they used to do, they buy the raw peanuts and then they will fry it in the wok until it's like golden brown and then they remove the skin. The peanut sauce it has to have sweet, sour and spicy. Despite being seen as a typical Asian dish, the satay is well recognized beyond this region. Everybody knows satay from Kuala Lumpur to Paris to England. Satay, you know, is on the menus. You know, it's served in the Malaysian Airlines, in, in Singapore Airlines too. It's become a big business in the country. Satay is a world phenomenon now. Mm -hmm.